Amy Harold got our attention here. New scientific research questions whether the chemical used to kill mosquitoes that might carry the Zika virus may be dangerous to babies. We want to know whether that chemical is being used here in our viewing area. So we asked in Channel 5's Lana Quillen to find out, and she's joining us live with that answer. Alana? Well, the simple answer is yes. The University of Michigan report says that NALID, the pesticide used in aerial spraying, could cause developmental issues in babies. Now, the United States approved the use of this chemical 50 years ago, and today the Palm Beach County Mosquito Control assures me that it is safe to use. The Zika scare of 2016 was real. Testing revealed hundreds of women carried the virus. Now, a study released by the University of Michigan warns pesticides used to fight Zika could be dangerous. There's widespread exposure to these chemicals and they maybe aren't as well studied as they should be. In a phone interview, Monica Silver, the study's lead author, told me they studied babies in China and found developmental problems. They're one of the world's largest users of pesticides. In Palm Beach County, this week's heavy rains have spawned more mosquitoes, so aerial spraying of the Nolid chemical is planned for next week. We don't do that very often. That's sort of last uh, last resort. Chris Reisinger with Mosquito Control assured me Nolid is safe, approved by both Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Agriculture. I've got more faith in our government than I do in the Chinese government at this point in, in terms of you know pesticide regulations. Palm Beach County also focuses more on killing larvae. It's much easier to target them when they're in the water. Uh, we use mostly use a chemical called BTI, Bacillum thuringiensis, which is a naturally occurring bacteria. Silver told me the study is not meant to create panic, but awareness. I think it's too soon to tell because we really, we just really don't know since this is the first study. But um, I mean, it's it's always a concern when you have to spray a chemical and potentially vulnerable populations are being exposed. Now, Mosquito Control told me over the decades that they've used it. They haven't gotten any complaints on Nolid. Now, I want to show you they only use about a thimble full of the chemical per acre of land. Now, where they'll be doing aerial sprayings depends on where they've gotten complaints or where they've uh, gotten some of their tests back on the traps. I'll read them to you. They usually start in these areas like the acreage, Loxahatchee and Jupiter Farms before moving on to the rest of the county. Reporting live in Lantana, Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.